Hey, Mark Rice here in the middle of the After Effects. Today I have another cool tutorial for you. I will show you how to make object bounce to the beat like this. It's very cool and easy, so let's start. First I need to import the files. Go to project tab, right click it, import, file, choose the file and hit that import. Select composition and layer size and click OK. Here are the files, main composition and layers. I will double click on the composition and boom, here it is, our music boy, cool. As you can see, I separate the layers I want to animate. Now, I need to import the music file. I will use the same method as I did with the graphic files. Okay, I'll drag the music file into composition. The background, the body and the head will not be animated, so I will lock and hide these layers. Use this icon to hide the layers. Before I connect the graphic files with the audio, I need to convert audio to keyframes. So, I will right click the audio layer Go into Keyframe Assistant and select Convert Audio to Keyframes. As you can see, I have a new layer. I don't need the old audio layer anymore, so I will hide it. When I go to Audio Layer here in Effects, I can find left, right and both channels. In this case, I need both channels, so I will remove the other two. Now, when I go to the both channels, you can notice the keyframes. These keyframes follow the rhythm of the beat. Huh, so, I need to connect the graphic layers with the rhythm. In my case, it's about big and small parts of the speaker and arms. I will start with the big ones. Select the layer and press S on your keyboard. Open the layer size settings. Then you need to press and hold Alt and click this stopwatch icon. Ok, I need the spear icon to connect these layers with the audio layer. Just drag the spear icon to the audio slider. Now when I play the music I have this. As you can see the size of the bus layer isn't good. So I will go here and add plus 80 for wide and height of the element. Now it's good. I will do the same for the small part of the speakers. Just press S, then hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon to connect the layer with the audio layer. Now change the size all away and that's it, yeah! The speaker part is done and it's time for arms. In this case I will use rotate settings instead size settings. So press R on your keyboard, hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon. Connect layers and play the music. As you can see, it's not good. I need to move the rotation point from the center to the elbow. I will use pain behind for it. Now it's good, cool. I will use the same with the other arms. The arms are moving in the same direction and they are not synchronized. I will fix it here, just type slash minus one. Now it's ok. If you want to reduce the speed by half, type here slash 2 and here slash minus 2. Ok, and this is final result. Cool! You can use it for soundtracks, music videos and stuff like that. If you like the video, leave a comment down below. And subscribe, because the best is yet to come. Peace!